Good morning, fam. It's me, Coach 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the General 78 Sports TV and the entire LDBC, Langston Broadcasting Community. Shout out to the Louisiana All-American Sports Network. And also shout out to the greatest university in the world, the Southern University, home of the mighty Jaguars. And in this particular video, I'm going to give my quick post-fight reaction to Danny Dubois versus Anthony Joshua. And I'm not going to lie, at one point, I used to be a huge Anthony Joshua fan. But of course, those individuals that follow my channel know my favorite fighter is Deontay Wilder. And the fact that, you know, my favorite fighters really could have fought in the 90s, really kind of sent me to throwback fighters like Wilder, like Spence, uh, Devin Haney. Those are like my top three favorite fighters. And the thing I love about these fighters is that they don't duck no smoke. They want to fight the best possible competition. And, you know, they're really trying to get it out the mud. Whereas most of the fighters nowadays, like the fighters I can't stand, like Canelo Alvarez, uh, Anthony Joshua, Tank Davis, they're not really trying to fight anybody. They're trying to make the most money they could possibly make without fighting the best competition. And that's the thing I can't stand about boxing. That's the thing that's kind of turned me off about boxing. Uh, lately, I kind of, you know, I've been watching more boxing than I watched in a long time. So I'm gonna kind of give you uh, more videos or whatever the case may be. But, you know, that's the reason why I kind of was turned off by sport of boxing for a while. So I'm kind of getting back into it, you know. So me and some of my LDBC brothers, you know, we watched the fight on Saturday. And I'm not gonna lie, I know at one point, Danny Dubois was a sparring partner for Anthony Joshua. And, you know, rumor has it that, you know, he knocked out Anthony Joshua in sparring. And I kind of tell because usually when you have a fight, there's like, for the first round or two, it's like a feeling out process. But Daniel Bois, there's really there really was no feeling out process. You know, he just kind of got to it. And he just went after AJ. And AJ really just couldn't handle Dubois' jab. And it's crazy that this dude was a unified heavyweight champion. You know, of course, he never wanted to fight Wilder. Let's be clear about that. But this dude was a unified champion. He really couldn't deal with Danny Dubois' jab. And then after a certain point, Danny Dubois rocked him and, and put him down. And I'm like, all right. Because I'm not going to lie. In my mind, going into the fight, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. I thought Anthony Joshua was the favorite. And Danny Dubois, you know, once he really hurt Joshua and put him down, uh, it was just all gas, no brakes. He just was giving it to Joshua. You know, if I remember correctly, I think he knocked Joshua down like four or five times. And I'm not going to lie, they should have stopped that fight way before they actually stopped it. They really didn't stop it when they should have. But, you know, the referee, he was trying to save Joshua, trying to give Joshua extra, extra, extra time. At one point, uh, he acted like uh, Daniel Dubois low blow Joshua, which wasn't the case. But, you know, they really was favoring Joshua and trying to give Joshua every, you know, every advantage. But it just was to no use because Danny Dubois was all over Joshua. And this just kind of let me know that Danny Dubois knew he was going to be Joshua and he wanted all the smoke. Uh, before the last knockdown that ended the fight, Joshua hit Danny Dubois and hurt him. And Danny Dubois still just polished him off and ended the fight. So, at the end of the day, I'm not going to lie, Anthony Joshua is the perfect example of a hype job. I don't care what nobody say. He, I know he won an Olympic gold medal, whatever the case may be. But to say this dude was an Olympic gold medalist, uh, he don't have the skill set that he should have. And truthfully speaking, I think Eddie Hearn did this dude a disservice. He didn't move him properly. I think had he moved him properly... I think had he had the right trainers, trainers, you know, from the early stages of his career, and he was moved properly, instead of just being, you know, thrust into the forefront and thrust into the limelight before he was ready to be, be in that spot. I think he would have had a better career in the fact that they just avoided Wilder like the plague. It just kind of let me know that they knew that Eddie Hearn knew this dude really wasn't ready. Cause they never wanted smoke with Wilder at no point in his career, but it kind of is what it is, you know. 
as far as I'm concerned, Anthony Joshua is a hype job. Uh, you know, he is one of the reasons why, you know, I don't have the love for boxing that I used to have. Because, you know, the fighters in the 90s, uh, especially in the 80s, in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, like, the best fighters want to fight the best fighters, and they wanted all the smoke. It wasn't what it is nowadays when you got all these fighters just clout chasing. And, you know, just boxing was in a different place in the 80s, 90s, and the early 2000s. Uh, but that's it for this video. If you saw any value in this video, like the video, share the video, comment in the comment section, subscribe to the channel. Also, click the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime I post any new videos. Uh, go check out my brother, 70 Sports TV, on his channel. Uh, go check out my brother, Gerald Levin Green, on his channel. Check out my brother, Brent Fox, on his channel. And also, check out my brother, Cadillac Red, Supreme Beast Boxing Talk. I'll catch y'all on the rebound. Y'all have a blessed, phenomenal day. Peace and blessings.